You may have heard about the latest hype in e-commerce, ONDC or the Open Network for Digital Commerce. ONDC will kill food technology startups like Zomato. Us video Zomato se kam price mein same product same bahut paise bachenge. Government ka ek initiative hai ONDC is here to change the game. Reports suggest that ONDC provides incredibly low product prices compared to other platforms. But behind these heavy discounts, who's really footing the bill? And if the discounts are the incentive, what happens when they are rolled back? Recent reporting shows how ONDC's retail orders fell by 50% and continue to decline after big discounts for users on logistics came down drastically due to a revision of incentives. It seems that these incentives were revised unilaterally and rather suddenly without consulting the market participants involved leaving us wondering is ONDC diffusing market power or acquiring it in this video we will go over the many points of concern related to ONDC like who is running the network where does the accountability of all these functions lie and will the platform be able to ensure customer protection as well as quality experience For a more detailed explanation of ONDC's functioning and our concerns around it, check out our explainer on our website. On the surface, the idea behind ONDC seems to have potential. You know, a network model that allows buyers and sellers to transact irrespective of the platforms they use. It's a government-backed initiative aimed at diluting the power of dominant e-commerce platforms. increasing competition and thereby providing a level playing field to small merchants and traders and prioritizing MSME however not long after its launch big names like amazon flipkart and reliance geo mart committed to joining the network while some have already joined leading us to wonder can ondc succeed without the participation of these big names whose market capture it is supposedly trying to challenge So what happens when large players start to dominate the network as we've seen happen with the UPI network how will ONDC ensure and sustain fair competition while it promises a decentralized and democratic marketplace the question of accountability looms large who is ONDC accountable to and how do we ensure this accountability as a section 8 private sector led non-profit company ONDC has a mix of government led non-profit organizations and e-governance technology company and some of india's largest banks as its shareholders the relation between the government of india and ondc isn't legally defined leaving the lines of responsibility and accountability extremely blurry so if ondc is merely an enabler who takes responsibility for disputes or issues like fake products and fraud the current framework doesn't provide clear answers there are many other potential challenges the structure of ondc raises questions about aspects of consumer protection such as grievance redressal systems and protecting personal data while reviewing the ondc service a journalist of the telegraph reported issues they face such as delays in order lack of provision for live tracking live updates or even the option for customer support This leads us to question how disruptions in the non-glamorous yet crucial parts of e-commerce processes will be handled. How do we ensure smooth delivery, return and grievance redressal when multiple payers which provide different services are involved in a single order? And then there's the question of personal data. According to its network policy, the ONDC ecosystem involves various entities who may get access to personal information about individuals whether they're alive or deceased. However, ONDC's lack of an accountability mechanism along with the absence of a data protection law in the country puts the consumers at heightened risk. While some reporting showed that the government is cognizant of data privacy issues with the network, ONDC continues to operate without a law protecting personal data. All these concerns are intricate and deserve a more in-depth look. We encourage you to take a deep dive into our analysis. by reading our detailed explainer on ONDC by going to internetfreedom.in you can find the link to the explainer in our instagram bio or in the caption below continue supporting our work by sharing this video subscribing to our youtube channel help sustain it by donating to us and join our telegram community to continue this conversation